Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to show you what we're going to be building in this playlist. So I created a playlist using Streamlit. So Streamlit is, let me show you what Streamlit is. It's a very nice Python library, very simple and what they said here as it being the fastest way to build data apps is actually true because it's super easy to use. So what we're going to do now is we're going to build a simple dashboard around the auto MPG dataset. Now the auto MPG dataset can be found here and don't worry, all the code and the data is in the repository, which I'll put in the description below. So you have access to everything. So it's pretty much just a dataset from Cargo or it's on Cargo, but maybe most likely not from Cargo. But anyways, what the dataset does is it shows the relationship between the displacement, the miles per gallon of a car, the horsepower, features like that. Okay, really, really cool. So this is what we're gonna build. It's a simple dashboard, right? And this is what we do in using Streamlit. First thing you can see, there's a checkbox over here. So if I say review the data, it just shows me the data set, right? This is the data set. It shows me the entire data set. I can scroll, I can actually inspect everything. I can even expand it and make it bigger. So if I do that, you can see this is what it looks like when it's expanded. I can minimize it. But the real form side, so I'm just gonna take it out. You press that checkbox and it just takes it out. So you can see this is dashboard for MPG and this is a scatter plot. So if you come here, you can change this to, let's say, displacement um, and horsepower. Yeah, as I expected now, you can see there's a direct relationship between the displacement of an engine and the amount of horsepower that we produced, you know. The beautiful thing about this is it helps you to visualize as much, as, as much of the data set as possible, you know, without having to write all this code more than once, which is really good. Um, let's see if I change this, what I want to change this to, let's say acceleration. Okay. So yeah, it's a different kind of relationship over here. So if we go to the Instagram, um, Instagrams are used, they used to show univariate distribution of data, right? So you want to see how does your data, the values in a data set or in a in a single column, right? How does it change? Is it skewed to the left? Is it skewed to the right? Is it a perfect Gaussian distribution or not? So things like that. So here we can just come and just change this to, let's say, acceleration, right? And acceleration seems to follow, you know, from what I can see, follows a perfect Gaussian distribution. Or close to perfect, but of course, not going to be 100% perfect. So, in this tool, we can add you know, things like this. We can vary the bin size, you know, just tweak the visual a little bit. So, if you wait, it's going to come. Let's say we want this, it's going to change it again, and the visual is going to be updated. All of this is done with under 60 lines of code, including comments. like. That is amazing. You know, this tool is super easy to build stuff like this. Like I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big fan of this tool for sure, because I didn't even do anything on the aesthetics, right? Everything you see was done using Python code. Amazing. I've never used a tool like this before. Next we go to a joint plot, right? Um, can go to. Here, what do you want to visualize? Let's say you want to visualize um, how the miles per gallon and the horsepower are related. You know, and wait for it. Yeah, so you can see that there's a, there's an inverse relationship between the MPG and the horsepower. And when you go up here, you can also see that this is how the distribution you know, looks like. This is great. Like this is really, really good. So this is what we did, and the main thing here is the main takeaway from here is 
we use Streamlit to make this web app because this is a web application. It can actually be hosted, you know, on a server somewhere, but right now it's running on my local machine. So we use Streamlit to build this and we create the visuals with Seaborn. The good thing about Streamlit is you can use whatever visualization library you want. So if you like Pyga, you like Seaborn, you like Matplotlib, you like Plotly, you like OK, whatever visualization library you want, you can easily incorporate it here into Streamlit. So yeah, that's that's it. And in the next couple of videos, we're going to just build this step by step, you know, from scratch. I will have this beautiful interface, you know, working right there on your computer. And I'll also put the link to the repository so you can take this project on GitHub. It's open source. You can take it and make it your own. So that's really good. Um, in this Streamlit playlist, I'm trying to make up my mind if I'm going to add more videos like different other projects. Maybe if I find a data set which looks interesting, I could just add it in there and boom, you know. But I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. Um, but for right now, I'll end it here and I'll see you in the next couple of videos where we build this together. Thank you.